But let me say this. When we took on this project about two years ago, not many thought that we will deliver it. There are many experts and many critics along the way who refuse to believe that Papua New Guinea is changing and changing for the better. Even when they see such infrastructure being built all around the country, they cannot accept change. And you have to ask yourself why. Our economy is growing. Our people are accepting change. We are educating more people now than ever before. We are investing more money in areas such as health than ever before. We are spending record amounts of money in building infrastructure right across the country. As we open this flyover here today, we are doing the same level of commitment to development of infrastructure in many other parts of the country. Today, when you go to cities like Leh, where it used to be the portal capital of the world, it is becoming a cement capital of the world. Where people used to talk about highways that were not were closed for many, many months and were not been able to be traveled on, such as the Highlands Highway, we have lost few days of shutdown of that road in the last three years than the 10 years before. That is because of the commitment that our government puts on infrastructure. Today, as we open this bridge, we are building road from places that has never happened before. Like from Tabubil now, we are starting to work to join our remote communities in Telefomin. We are now opened up the road between Kimbe and of course Kokopo. Now people can travel along that highway today as we speak. By 2017, we will be able to drive from Kikori all the way down to Leh because we are going to link the last 20 kilometers that is remaining to be linked. Today, as we speak, we are almost reaching Kerama town of the ceiling of the Iritano Highway. And of course, as we speak today, we are going to launch the double four-lane highway from the Kagamuga Airport into the Hagen City over the next month. These are investments that we are doing as such when we are sealing the road now, ready to give contracts from Como all the way to seal all the way up to Mendy. And I want to assure you, these are investments that are changing our communities and our people all throughout the country. Our government is also putting record amounts of money into the districts. Many districts where did not see government services in the past are able to see because of that investment. Many of you may not remember, but between 2002 and 2010, we had close to 8 billion kina in trust funds, in many, many trust funds. What happened to that money? We did not build one new bridge. We did not build, build, build one new road, one new hospital, one new school within that time. But today we are not here to blame people who manage those monies. But we are here to say that we are charting a new path, new road for Papua New Guinea that is now going to see the Papua New Guinea taking its place, not only in our region and in the Pacific, but within the global community. That is why this particular bridge, this flyover is the first of many to come. There will be many later on, but this is certainly the first one. That is why we are very proud to be here today, joining our governor, our ministers, our Hawkins partners, and of course all the subcontractors and the workers who have put a lot of hours and time in making sure that we deliver this. In a few weeks' time, we will be hosting the Pacific Games. This is the time to showcase our country, showcase the best of our country, that is why I'm very thankful to NCDC and the governor for the strong leadership and partnership that they continue to provide. Well, small things like making sure that we control our things like chewing of betel nut, 
taking some razor wires off the houses. Why do we have to live in fear? That is why our government and NCDC is working together to we can showcase people who are visiting us that we have a community that we can be proud of and, a, of course, a country that we are all proud of. Papua New Guinea is continuing to change and will continue to change over the next few years. It is important that we work together, our people, our government and our leaders. There are, of course, as I said earlier, few critics who will not accept change. But they are not going to change our individual lives. They are only talking about themselves. But we as a country, we as leaders, as a community, we must work together for the future. The future is our children. What sort of society are we going to leave behind for them? That is why today, of course, as we lead up to the Pacific Games, and, uh, and we will welcome the leaders of the South Pacific Island countries in September, when they come here for the Pacific Island Forum Leaders Meeting, they will be able to see Papua New Guinea changing and taking its place in the region. That is why today I'm happy to announce that I know everybody knows that this flyover is the Kookaburra flyover. But Kookaburra is really not a Papua New Guinean name, you know. It is a name given to us during the Australian administration when they named this street Kookaburra Street. But I think it is important that we name this flyover with a name that is reflective of our country. And our country's logo is the Kumul, so that is why today we are going to name this flyover Kumul Flyover. Representing our country's change and the new change that is happening in the country. We are going to name this flyover from the road that is from the Port Mosby City, coming through Poraporana Freeway. We have never officially named this road. We all just call it Poreporana Freeway because we dug up the Poreporana Hill. But we are going to name this road from the city, Port Mosby City, all the way to Nine Mile as the Kumul Highway, representing, of course, the Kumul that reflects our country's image. And of course, from Nine Mile down to Kerama will continue to be remain Hiritano Highway. And from Nine Mile to Sogeri, which we are going to also build a four-lane highway all the way up to 17 mile, will be re renamed the Kokoda Highway, reflecting our history about the Kokoda and the Second World War. So with that few words, thank you once again for joining us here today. I hope you have a good day. Please walk across uh, this bridge. That it might not be open for uh, pedestrians in the future, but I think uh, you will certainly enjoy that day today. And with that, it is my official duty and honor to say that we officially open this flyover, the Kumul flyover today. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Ladies and